this is similar to what is done so it is what is important is it is the amplitude which is remaining constant in this case amplitude is not changing in all these figures whatever is amplitude uh, of whatever magnitude it remains the same to all it is a frequency which is change it is coming closer deviating so at the point where it is maximum amplitude it is coming closer so this is what i was referring to in my last class as this is the point this is the point which is referred to as compression where the amplitude is maximum so this is the point of compression this is the point of rarefaction so actually and this is your amplitude whatever be the change that you are taking in the case of amplitude modulated the amplitude is same but in frequency amplitude will never change one example i can give you is uh, all of you must be now watching this fm radio uh, or for that matter different video channels of your tv their video frequencies are very high compared to audio i think you are aware of so what happens whenever you tune your tv circuit to different uh, channels the frequencies are higher and higher and some frequencies are lower so when the frequencies are lower as you can see what is happening the channel width is reduced isn't it they are coming closer so when two simultaneous channels are released at two closely spaced frequencies there is a possibility of this frequency overlapping with the neighbor so so always is you have those of you who have experience these cable tv network they will experience very often there is no signal did you observe did any one of you observe especially when there is a change in power and when it comes back this is what happens so such situation what is happening is those frequencies which are very high they will not have this kind of you know a problem only those those frequencies which are low will have this so therefore in high frequency regions never this kind of thing happens only for amplitude modulated waves only when the amplitude is changed it will happen Uh, an example of where the amplitude is changing see you set your tv for a particular volume particular color you all know how to change the color contrast volume of your tv these are all digital tv is what you are talking about so in digital tv you uh, adjust the tune the contrast the color by using your remote button sometimes have you experienced that while changing the channel for some of the channels suddenly the sound becomes very high though you set it at normally all of you try to set your tv sets at optimal level that is uh, it is from 0 to 100 scale i think you all know that so in the 0 to 100 scale you must keep it at 50 if you have not done that is the optimum utilization you must keep it at that level So now, so now, by doing by this, doing this what, is what is happening is, such channels, such channels where it is a low frequency, the amplitude variation happens. For high frequencies, it does not happen. Yes, when sports, or uh, star movies, when you watch, you never have this problem. You never have the volume to the max. For low frequencies, this kind of problem persists. So now let us see the mathematical relation. take this so mathematically when you express an f wave it is given by f is equal to fc plus kf am sin omega mt so this is a relation this is unmodulated carrier wave plus kf is a proportionality constant times am sin omega mt 
where a m sin omega m t refers to the instantaneous modulating voltage and omega m refers to frequency of the m wave so that means it is changing by a moment equal to k f times that of the modulating sequence so therefore the maximum deviation for this signal will occur when the sign term has its maximum value maximum deviation occurs yes this is an important statement here the maximum deviation occurs when the sine wave has its maximum value what a sine can take sine can take a maximum value of either plus or minus 1 it cannot take so the sine wave can have a maximum of plus 1 or minus 1 so under these circumstances since sin omega mt in equation 1 can be either 1 or minus 1 what it means is this is the maximum deviation that we discussed in the last slide it can be either fc plus or minus kf times n how did i get equation 2 i got the equation 2 I write it this way because sine omega m t can be plus one or minus one. So you are having this term here, which is plus or minus one. Therefore, here you have this factor, the factor of plus or minus. So what it means what it is, means is the maximum deviation can occur, which is equal to. So what is the deviation given by K F times A M? This K F times A M is the maximum deviation, and you represent that. You represent it by an amount given by. K M, where K F is your proportionality constant. Therefore, the instantaneous amplitude of F M signal is given by A F M. This is amplitude of F M is given by A C into sine of omega C omega M. what is this this is called a function of carrier and modulating signal frequencies ac sine which is a function of not just omega c or just omega m but it is a function of combination of two functions so frequencies therefore it is written as and for omega c and omega m And theta, theta. This can also be written also as A C sine of theta, theta, where theta is the angle. 
where theta is the angle that is traced by the velocity vector AC in time t. And this is a vector diagram which is plotted frequency versus time. Frequency is nothing but angle. And theta is angle traced by the vector AC is like T and omega C can be written omega of frequency modulated wave is written as equal to omega C plus 2 phi F and sine of omega T. So, so, now, now, this is the this angular, is angular displacement. displacement. You know by definition, the rate of change of angular displacement is angular velocity. So, therefore, you can write omega as d theta by d dt, or you can write theta is the integral of omega. So, when you write theta to be integral of omega dt, we are taking it from this expression. Uh, let me write this as 4a. So, if you write the integral omega dt means the integral when you take you get this expression. Integral of omega dt is integral of omega c plus 2 phi k f a m sin omega m t. That means you are taking integral of this term. When you take integral of this term, What you get is omega c t plus 2 pi f k m integral of sin omega m t is cos omega m t divided by omega m. integral with respect to sine dt and what you get is omega c t plus 2 pi k f a m cos omega t by omega m. Now you write omega m in the denominator as 2 pi f m. What you get is 2 pi 2 pi gets cancelled. You have k f a m by fm. And you know by definition that delta f is equal to kf am is defined by the equation. So therefore this is equal to delta f by fm. Fm. 